everybody, what's going on? It's Bruce Lebowski Studio. I'm just out for a little drive today. We're gonna to talk about a few things. First, I'm going to Harbor Freight, check out the tools and all that sort of thing. I'm a junkie, I can't help it. So, I will get back to you. Okay, I'm done with Harbor Freight. Got a few things, uh, always a gearhead. Love my stuff. And uh, I was actually thinking of painting today, but it's a little breezy, a little on the cool side, even though it's March here in Maine. While I'm driving around taking a look, I thought I might uh, talk about another topic. Uh, it ties in with artist struggles a little bit. I wouldn't call it a struggle, more of a concept, I guess. I don't know. Uh, and that has to do with art competitions. Okay, so let's talk about art competitions. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about them. There's a lot of uh, talk that uh, they help, you know, gives you something on your resume to uh, show that you have some uh, street crit. So art competitions, what do I think of them? Um, I haven't participated in too much in general. Uh, the last one I did was for the Oil Painters of America. And... Uh, big competition you know uh, it's held at different galleries uh, in this particular juried show they probably have several I don't know uh, I think it was last year you know I became a uh, associate member you send some uh, pictures in and they approve you and your associate mem member and then over time as you uh, uh, participate in shows maybe you get included in so many shows in a row uh, it ramps you up to different membership levels uh, I'm not super technical on how that happens, but in the end, the painting that I got in, I wrapped it all at 30 by 40, uh, all in, it cost me like $250 to send that painting to this gallery in Utah. And, uh, you know, I, I sent a, a bigger painting thinking that, of course, you're going to be up against some competition, a lot of good people, uh, good painters in the uh, Oil Painters of America, and uh, competition stiff, so I thought oh, I'm gonna do a bigger one of my train pieces, and uh, I couldn't believe how much it was to send it. You know, we as artists, you know, we don't have, uh, especially if you're not really uh, well known and you're just trying to make a dollar, that was a lot of money to spend to take a chance that I might win something. Uh, and you hope sometimes you get into a show like that, you might get a uh, knock on the door, so to speak, uh, something in the mail, hey, I saw your paintings, or an email nothing nothing came of it and uh, that's happened in past with shows I thought would have give you some traction kind of ties into what I talked about before a little bit uh, so I think I'd be interested to know if galleries I've heard different opinions different topics that if galleries really care if uh, you've had a lot of big shows under your belt All right, so to continue with that topic, and before we get started, uh, got some cool things. I'm up here at the train yard where I'm always poking around looking for stuff to paint. Check this out. How cool is that? Sometimes I like just coming up here, and especially when I painted up here before, you just, when there's no uh, conductor in there, the engine just sitting there. All you hear is the tick, tick, tick of the engines, and yeah, is that cool or what? Okay, enough of that. Let's get back to what I was talking about. Okay, so I've heard mixed opinions on this uh, idea of galleries, if they really care about, if you've been in big shows, I think there probably are going to be some out there, a few, but I think, honestly, just show me the work. Just show me the work. I can't tell you how many times. And let me know in the comments if you've run into this because uh, I've seen it a lot. And, uh, you know, you read someone's resume before you see their work and you're like, oh my God, this person, they must be, a, you're waiting to see this revelation and you maybe you read the artist's statement you're like, wow, I'm going to be bowled over. And then I see the work. And I've mentioned this in the past, you know, I like all styles of artwork, you know, I'm not just Mr. Realist and... I, matter of fact, I don't even paint photorealistically or anything. I mean, I have done some paintings pretty fairly rendered, but uh, I'm for that cross between painterly realism, you know, painterly and super realistic. 
anyway, um, and then I see the work, I'm like, my God, what the, what is this, you know? And you really wonder, man, do they, do they know some people or, you know, what's going on? You don't know. So it's uh, always uh, an intriguing uh, uh, concept with that. And uh, I'm just more about just show me the work. And some of the competitions, like some of these magazine competitions, um, I'm just gonna throw this out there. And uh, if you participate in these, um, that's okay. I'm, you know, uh, you can comment and tell me your thoughts. I would appreciate that. But again, all this is just my opinion. Okay, one in particular magazine that I read quite a bit is uh, Plain Air magazine. And of course everyone knows uh, Plain Air is huge right now. And uh, everyone's running competitions, this and that. And I gotta say, I've participated in one that past couple years I thought, oh this is a big deal, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get in this one. Then I get in and do the competition and uh, they're hyping it up like we make lots of sales, this and that, and sales were dead. It was a there's a door nail and it's just funny I finally get into the show I mean I've noticed it for maybe the last five years and then we you know uh, participants from last year get an email this year saying that they're not gonna run the show anymore so I don't know if they have one bad year they throw in a towel but it's like shame on them you know you're gonna have some bad years and I don't know how much hype they're trying to trying to drive to these things but in the end the first thing I think about in a lot of these plain air things is how in the hell do you make money? I mean, I had a host family, of course, but I still had to travel a little bit from the house. And you got to produce these paintings in a given time. And the whole idea of just pumping out these paintings to have at the end of the event. Oh, man, that's a slippery slope. I'm not even, oh, that's a whole nother video probably. And uh, let me know what your thoughts are. But I think it's, it's promoting poor painting, I think. You know, artists are... Oh, there's that locomotive again. Very cool. Sorry, it's going to be a little noisy. Hold on a second. Man, that is cool as heck. So, hope you can hear me. But I just think it's promoting uh, work that's not top caliber sometimes. I do think there's some painters in these events. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm not stupid. Uh, let's say 100 artists participate. There's probably going to be 20 or so that can produce in that time frame. They just you know, uh, can can produce a pretty good painting in a, in a small amount of time. And uh, they just got their technique down, draftsmanship, I don't know. But I think there's a big, huge thing that, uh, oh, planar painting, it's about loosen up, simplify, this and that. And I think, honestly, I'm, I'm, you know, when I'm flipping through this magazine, I probably only stop on about 10% of the paintings and I go, wow, that's pretty good, you know. Others, I'm like, oh, they're going for the simplify the scene. Oh, does that really mean I can't draw? Uh, I'm saying to simplify because I can't really paint what I'm looking at. Uh, do you have to paint what you're looking at? Of course not. I mean, you're going to have painters that interpret the scene, but in a way, I don't know, you know, like you go too far outside of plain air painting and you're there to absorb the scene I don't know I'm just all about I'm replicating what I'm looking at maybe charging up a few colors but I'm not getting crazy with brushwork and such and uh, everyone has an opinion that's mine um, so I just think it's amusing because you see that it's very prevalent in the in the uh, in these competitions and sometimes when you read personal stories about these people and hey, a lot of artists have supporting spouses and such but some of these big names even you know you feel like maybe man they're doing really well well you find out they're married maybe they have a spouse and and that's really who's bringing in the paycheck biggest thing is some of these people if you don't have a host family are having to fly to a place get a hotel room even if they're driving and camping that's still a lot of time. How much are you getting out of that? You know, um, and then and then sometimes I see it in, in some of these show reviews in the magazine. They talk about, oh, here's what happened at so and so festival, and ten thousand people got some kind of award. I'm like thinking, number one, 
if you really want to make a competition elite kind of you know uh i'm pretty competitive and not in a way like i want to win money and win all the money but if it's almost like kids these days it seems prevalent to give every kid that participates in something a participation award and the people that work really hard at that sport or that thing the kids you know it kind of diminishes the value of the words they get because everyone's getting a participation award so that's a touchy-feely topic for many people too but let me know um i just feel that you know and some of the prize money is extreme differences like maybe first place maybe let's pick a number eight hundred dollars and then the next tier down the next prize available for value is only like three hundred dollars or something there's such a huge disparity and then worse is when the awards when you don't really know what the technical awards are going to be i run into that to a lot of local shows awards uh, should total x amount of dollars and we're still working on is basically what they're saying and then you find out oh six thousand dollars in awards and oh they enter the show well then you win award and you walk up to get your money you think but you're getting a, a, a pack of watercolor or some watercolor pad or a coupon for some place. You're not even from that town because you've traveled there and, and it's for some products. I don't know about you, but artists want money. And these competitions need to get with the program and uh, whew, getting kind of ramped up on this. But it's been something I've been thinking about kind of tying this whole competition thing in general. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Well, let's continue on. Here's another scene that I've been looking at for quite a while and uh, I'm contemplating doing a painting of sort of an urban blight sort of, sort of a idea. And here in town where I live, there's a complex that's been a restaurant. It's been sort of a all-in-one kind of thing. They try to do a restaurant, bridal stuff and all this stuff and it's failed. And But this cool little entrance used to be a bedding parlor and a, a basement sort of a bedding thing. But check this out. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This little area right in there, I could see is a probably a 30 by 40. You get the light angle just right. Very cool. So I don't want to go on and on, but that's just one example of uh, some uh, what I feel about some competitions. Now I still enter some things. I liked you know, when I look up shows online. I, I start with like museum shows and maybe a theme concept show. One thing, I, I got something locally from a, a, a person and it had to do with a, a gallery south of in southern Maine. And I'm reading about the, the prospectus and looking at the details, the rules of the competition, that sort of thing. And right away I, when I, I read that the paintings had to be presented in gold frames, so I was like, uh, you know, for for a show to tell the artist how to frame a piece is a little over the top. And I got the illusion from the place that, hey, we can give you a little bit of a discount if you use our frames and whatever. And so you wonder about some shows being run to be money makers. Obviously, I think uh, my personal opinion, 80% of them are. Um, and I know there's work involved and you got to get paid for it. But... Um, how much are they really promoting the show? Like they can say they're doing something, even if it's a museum, but what kind of foot traffic are they gonna push to the place? What kind of marketing are they gonna do? And you know, there's maybe probably half the artists, maybe they're sending from out of state. So all that kind of stuff tie, ties into this whole topic. And somebody uh, give me some information from uh, your point of view. I'm over here you know, in Maine. So uh, it's not like I'm in the, the hub of activity, artistic center of the world, but uh, it seems a common common thread the little bits I've read and looked at over time and uh, let me know okay to continue on I think in the end that uh, art competitions aren't really my thing everyone has a different opinion and it's up to you to decide what you want to do but uh, I do plan on still entering some but I'm, I'm, I'm going to be ultra picky. The plein air salon stuff that you see in the magazine. I mean, come on, 20 million people entering, paying. What was it last time I entered that thing? 
I want to say $15 an entry or something. It was a lot. And the chance of getting anything is pretty nil. I mean, you wouldn't try to get some reward out of that monetary re uh, reward. But holy cow, is it uh, paying out for them? Uh, I'll only focus in the future probably on more theme shows, maybe uh, tying into my urban scene kind of deal, or museum shows. Uh, that's my personal opinion. I'm not an expert on this. And I guarantee if my personal opinion, if you actually try to reach out to you know, these institutions and ask them real questions, no one's really going to tell you. No one's going to tell you the real deal. And uh, in general, it sounds very pessimistic. But, oh, sorry, moving the camera around. Um, sounds pessimistic but it just seems like it's such a racket out there and uh, what benefit does the artist really get out of it uh, so that's all I have to say on it and uh, we'll continue on and uh, do some a little more exploring okay so we're headed over to my little kayaking hole for summer to see if the ice is out yet <laughs> Really super looking forward to doing some paddle boarding, doing some videos this summer for you guys. But we're going to finish up the video up there at the swimming hole and uh, about this art competition thing and uh, get it wrapped up. So I'll see you up there. Well, I guess no uh, paddle boarding soon anyway. Super cool though. It's kind of raw today. Okay, so bottom line people is uh, you know kind of do your own thing you got to make your own decisions but i feel a lot of art competitions are just running the numbers making money and really not driving any interest to the show uh correct me if i'm wrong again i don't profess to be an expert but uh, some shows i've done i thought there'd be some interest and they get people there and they see your work and Things would progress to the next level. Never happened. Uh, maybe, obviously, not being an egotistical guy here. And, oh, my work, everyone should notice it. But, I don't know. It's just weird. I've seen other artists really get some traction with uh, doing art shows. Just not for me. Not sure what's going on. But, uh, super nice up here, as you can see behind me, probably. And... Uh, Sorry if the sound or the video quality. I'm using GoPro. Should be pretty good video. But uh, let me know what you think. I'd really love to hear your opinions on things. Uh, give me some insight. Because I'm over here in Maine. I don't get a lot of details. So let me know. And uh, see you see in the next video. Bye.